Today we are in Alberta, Canada, and we're going to be exploring Jasper National Park, which is one of the most beautiful places in the Canadian Rockies. And today we're gonna to be taking a cruise to Spirit Island on Moline Lake. Spirit Island is the most iconic place in all of Jasper National Park. The island is a spiritual place for the Stony Nakoda First Nation, who believe mountains are physical representations of their ancestors. And according to mythology, the name Spirit Island comes from the story of two lovers, just like modern day Romeo and Juliet. They belong to different tribes and they use the island to see each other. Sadly, she never went back and eventually he died on the island and his spirit is wandering there for eternity. This is a very beautiful place and in this video, we're gonna be showing you our experience, our visit, and everything you need to know to visit Spirit Island. Kevin was just fixing his hair nice in the mirror before he got on camera. I don't know what she's talking about. We are in our Jasper Hotel right now. We are getting ready to go to Moline Lake and Spirit Island today. We're gonna to be taking a ferry or a cruise. Bree just closed the door on me. Bree did this cruise a few years ago, but I did not. So super excited to get out there. It's one of the most famous spots in all of Jasper National Park. So it should be a fun day. We're just getting ready now. Why thank you, my dear. Two years ago, Kev and I were here with our friend Brian and they stayed back, but I went on this cruise alone. It was so beautiful. It's like the most kind of iconic spot in Jasper. It's called Spirit Island. It has like a little story behind it, but the view is very iconic and you'll see it there. anyone wondering it is uh, September 2021 <laughs> um, and as far as COVID goes for this so to come to Canada you pretty much need to be vaccinated or get a PCR test like every day so we're vaccinated so you have to show your vaccine card to get on the ferry if you don't have a vaccine card show a negative PCR test within 72 hours um, and obviously wear masks the whole time so just thankful it's open to, though to add to that that's like restaurants like pretty much anywhere you go in hotels so like, yeah hotels like to get in the hot tub like just makes sense to be vaccinated if you want to travel here so kevin gets pretty mad over lots of stuff <laughs> pretty much anything that doesn't go according to plan and there happens to that's be a line in the bathroom true. Like, that's not true not a crazy thing and he's no, so mad this is <laughs> <laughs> that just went in my face. This is the biggest tourist thing probably in the Canadian Rockies and there's one toilet. <laughs> Ask him if he's mad about it. We're just gonna be late is all. <laughs> Guys, really quick before we arrive to Spirit Island, I wanna tell you about a tool that I use to sharpen my skills as a photographer, get creative business resources, cover all of my equipment insurance, and most importantly, data recovery, and that is PPA, which is short for the Professional Photographers of America. For a low monthly price, you will receive a variety of unbeatable benefits, including $15,000 of equipment insurance, data recovery services, and 
customizable contracts. There is full replacement coverage with a flat $350 deductible, or you can repair your equipment with a flat $50 deductible. I think one of their most useful business resources is their customizable contracts because this is something that supports every single creator out there, no matter what you may need, PPA can offer it. PPA services is something I can't recommend enough. I've had lenses break, I've had cameras malfunction, I've had all sorts of problems in my six years of creating, and it is not worth it. If you would like to check out PPA's documents, including equipment coverage, proposals, cancellation letters, model releases, copyright transfers, and much, much more, check out the link in my description for my discount code and you will receive $25 off of PPA's full membership. And now back to the video. Thank you guys. All right, so we have just arrived to Spear Island me. Um, I believe we are going to dock the boat and we have 15 minutes here because we chose the classic tour. I think if you choose the upgraded tour you have 30 minutes here. So if you've been on a tour like this before you know that it is very much not photographer friendly. Not to mention the 15 minutes for an entire boat to take their photo. And obviously there's like the classic iconic shot. However, it is so beautiful, famous for a reason, obviously. So we are kind of just running ahead uh, from the classic viewpoint to get ahead of people. Get some uh, different shots of Spirit Island. The glare is pretty harsh right now, but it's awesome. The water is super blue. Okay, we are at the infamous Spirit Island right now. You evidently you're not allowed to walk on the land because it's spiritual indigenous land. So of course we want to respect that. And there's a fence all the way around, just kind of, you know, limiting the temptation. Um, it's kind of cool. There are two kayaks and canoes right here that people came in on, which is unbelievable. Props to them because that would be <laughs> insane to get out here. 22 kilometers. Yeah, the woman said it would be like eight hours round trip. Um, so yeah, come along. back and just to give a few more details about today if you're going to be doing this um, so we talked about like vaccines and masks and stuff but for two of us i believe it was 164 dollars canadian which i think comes to like 128 dollars us uh, absolutely worth it it is awesome and it's definitely like a bucket list spot for the canadian rockies and jasper and if you want to canoe out there it will take seven to nine hours and it sounds miserable but you can do a backpacking trip which okay. sounds pretty fun and logistically i think it's one of those difficult things because it's a very sought after thing um as it's so beautiful and popular and it could get a little pricey because you got to rent by the day yeah and it's 200 for a canoe for the day but we're gonna go check out the lodge and the waffle house up here and probably gonna call it a day also stay tuned because we are making a top 10 things to do in jasper this will definitely be on it um but yeah, stay tuned for more videos about Jasper and the Canadian Rockies.